Once I came here, I was like, yeah, like this is the place. Like I really enjoy it. I just instantly fell in love with the place, like the atmosphere, the kids here, the teachers were very nice to me. It made me feel welcome. The teachers really focus on every student and they make sure everyone here matters. My mother is actually from the island of St. Kitts and my father is from Jamaica. Um, me and my sister are first generation children here. That's why they came to America to give us more opportunity that they had in the island. There's so much opportunity here. Like why wouldn't I want to like come here and like be a part of all these programs, you know? Coming into Ryan each day is really like coming into a community. It's coming into a family. And sometimes the real challenging part is hearing the, the heartbreak that families are going through, some difficulties. While it could be loss of employment, uh, jobs that change, we, even, you know, we're consistently dealing with parents who are ill, parents sick with cancer, parents who uh, have passed away. And it was like very tough for me because it was like right around my birthday when he passed away. Him and my grandmother actually like always come to all my sports games. I was very close with them. That whole community was right there for me. My friends, my teams, they just came together and said, we're here for you. They helped out my mom. I felt like I can always like count on somebody if something bad's going on in my life. My mom and dad are divorced, so it makes it a lot easier to get through the tough times and just stay together as a family and friends and a community. I was a child of a single parent. My dad had passed away when I was in grade school, yet knowing that I was able to attend uh, my Catholic grade school and Archbishop Ryan, that was really because of the support of others. And the reality of it is, is that without more assistance from, from the community, uh, these kids are challenged to stay here. I'm in the Business Academy. It's always been like my dream to help people in the healthcare. I want to do a business major and have my own business. My dream is to become a nurse and go to college, get my degree. And At Ryan, everyone really can express their own creativity and they have so many great opportunities here. It opened a whole new world. First, it gets like experience. You get to learn how to talk to people, interact with people one-on-one. -on -one. It is a start in my career and the rest of my life. And it's just a small milestone in the rest of my career. Without blocks and without EITC, we would not be able to provide the opportunities that we can to our students and to support them in the way that we are able. This program ensures that their dollars come 100% back to Archbishop Ryan. It goes 100% into these kids for their tuition assistance. And when they come and participate and volunteer their time and they see these kids face to face, they know exactly where their money went to. Just think collectively, if you, if all of you, could contribute in some way, if you're qualified and you can do it, how many more students could fill this hallway that wouldn't be here. And so many of them could, would have been denied if it wasn't for programs like Blocks. Thank you so much for these opportunities and I'm so grateful I get to attend Archbishop Ryan. It really has a special place in my heart. I'm forever thankful I get to go here every day. Knowing that our students can have that opportunity to remain here. A place I call home, I'd say. <laughs> to get an education and to prepare them for life.